so hi guys last time we see how to uh, like uh, create editable model so in this lecture we will see how to create edit editable model so in this lecture we will see how to create editable model let's uh, do the things so we can edit from the cumul side edit cumul side so let's run and check our last model which uh, last time we created so, so this is is the contact list our so we need to add the name and the mobile number of that person okay add the name of uh, that person okay so let's uh, make the editable model so in editable model what we need to do so we need to find uh, the two things uh, which one we need to add here so cool list model first uh, we need to implement this one the const override because we have here uh, we need to implement this to flag override which will provide the model is editable or not so let's uh, do this and put it the override so let's uh, generate this uh, and what we need to uh, check here if the uh, index is valid then return ut ut dot item flag item is editable other than return qt item no item no flag item okay so that's all this is uh, we done it so now uh, one more method we need to override here which one is the set the data because here we get data uh, getting the data now we need to implement the set data so let's see where uh, the set data is so go to the, in this uh, two abstract item list model and now here i'm saying this uh, the set data so let's copy this one and let's uh, uh, put it here and now override so override it and now let's generate here and let's implement this how need to how we need to implement this so how do we need to check uh, first uh, just uh, what we need to check here like i'm creating one person uh, person uh, equal to m person uh, so index dot go so and now i'm adding switch case here so here i'm putting the rule and uh, we check which one rule we need to add it so i'm just adding here the two uh, number rule you can add any number of which you want to add it but i am here adding only the two name and the uh, number only okay so what do we need to put here like here we need to hold uh, one thing or uh, we need to add here like it changed if i come it changed then only we need to reload the model so first it's false so it changes return to this change so uh, yeah that's all so one more thing we need to add if uh, it change then emit the signal of data change this one the q left, uh, left bottom and the q vector rule so here what we need to add here just uh, putting the what we need to put here uh, let's check uh, q model index q model index q model index and the rule so, so i am here putting the uh, what we need to put here first index comma index com q vector okay so i'm adding q vector type is int and let's add the rule that oh yeah that should work so now it's time to check what we need to check here if the person 
to slash name not equal to value dot to convert q string uh, not equal to the then only person set the name which one so which one this so it changes the name and is changed So similar things we need to do here. Just uh, putting and now here the number here to end. Okay, so to end set uh, set number. Okay, so to end. Okay, so that's all. It change uh, to so. Uh, now it will change. So let's see if it is uh, editable or not. So let's see here. Now I am changing this uh, to text field. Okay. And width is uh, 200, height is uh, 60. So similarly, I am putting here. So now let's uh, now no we need to change uh, one click on text uh, edit text change. Uh, what we need to do uh, the number uh, equal to uh, text. Okay. So similar. What we need to do here on text change. So the name equal to the text so that's all let's uh, put some debugger on uh, debug print here if it is changed or not so let's put a q debug the name requested from qml so the name requested from the qml Sorry, the value here we put here. Okay, so similarly, here I'm changing the name number. Number, okay, so let's add. Here we need to add the header file Q debug. Okay, so now it's gone. Let's run. And see the changes. So let's uh, edit this. Uh, are this QT software developer? You see the changes here. And I'm also changing the number from here. This also added this number here. Also added this number here. And also there are look at that so that's all this is the editable model you can use okay thank you guys see you in like next lecture